Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the exciting projects in the world for home automation. In today's video, we have something special for you in the store. So in today's video, we will be running a Rasa chatbot on ESP32 microcontroller for the home automation. So basically, you can say that we are going to control the home appliances by using the Rasa chatbot which we have deployed on ESP32 microcontroller, just like we did in the last video, right? So let's dive right in. First, let's talk about ESP32. It's a powerful microcontroller widely used in IoT projects due to its capability and affordability. By leveraging its processing power and built-in Wi-Fi capabilities, we can create an interactive chatbot for home automation. To bring a chatbot to life, we will be using Rasa, an open source framework for building conversational AI applications. Rasa provides a comprehensive platform for creating chatbots with natural language understanding and dialogue management capabilities. Now, let's get into the technical aspects we will start by setting up our development environment and installing rasa on esp32 and to do that we need to create two things firstly a rasa chatbot which we want to deploy on esp32 and secondly we need to create a code for uh, ESP32 so that we can upload that and to get this customization or let's say the customized home automation thing done right so for that we have to do these two things and for that firstly we need to create our chatbot and uh, we are gonna use almost the same chatbot which we created in one of our last video and in this what exactly we're gonna do is we're gonna customize this a little bit right and uh, if you talk about the customized code don't worry i have that code already on the repository i'll share you the link and uh, you can do that but over here you can see uh, I have made the changes over here in NLU. I have added uh, this in such a way that I just want to turn on the light and turn off the light. Or let's say I also want to do turn on the fan and to turn off the fan. So this is what I want to do. So uh, for that I have simply added the data into the NLU as some examples. And also I have created the stories for them so that uh, this can be done properly. And also I have added all the responses intent and uh, responses into the domain.yml file, right? So this time I'm not using any uh, like uh, entities, let's say, right? So we are not using any of that. I'm simply using the basic chatbot just with the intent and with the responses. This is what I have done in here. Now uh, the complete code I have with me, let me show you that either. So here is the repository on which uh, you will find both the things like uh, Rasa chatbot as well as the, the INO file where we have the uh, C code or let's say the embedded C uh, code for your ESP32. So we have both the things in here. You can directly download it and you can start working on that. But I'll explain like what exactly we have done in here, right? Just like I have explained here, like I have added few things like I have added the uh, intent, I have added the examples for them, I have added the responses. So this is all that I have done over here. Now, uh, after that, I just have simply trained that model and uh, my model uh, can start working on it, right? So just to show you that, let me first of all, uh, uh, like uh, run the Rasa chatbot here and let me show you like how the responses I'm getting over here so that we can uh, accordingly customize it with the ESP32, right? So let me run it for that. So now, as you can see, the chatbot is up and running. So now let's talk to the bot and let's see how the conversation will go on, right? So in the similar way, we are only like going to control the home appliances, right? Let's say hi. So I'm going to get this reply. Hey, how are you? Because I also have this mood greet uh, like uh, bot over here, right? So um, let's say I want to say light on, right? So this is the message that I'll get as a response. And similarly, let's say I'll type uh, light off. So I'll get this reply. Okay, I put this uh, extra, right? So yeah, this is the reply that I'll get. This is the reply that I will get. So what basically we're gonna do is we are gonna uh, send a message 
from the uh, server side and in fact the server if i am talking about that means i am talking about the esp32 server which we will create as a web server like uh, for itself so that when i will send some message uh, or let's say when i will send some input for my chatbot that chatbot will take that input and on the basis of that it will give you the response back based on this rasa chatbot so when we will have that accordingly what we will do is we will get this response which we will read out and on the basis of that we will say like what exactly we want to do whether we want to turn on the light turn off the light turn on the fan or turn off the fan so this is how exactly we're gonna do right so basically our chatbot is ready now we can shift to the Arduino side where we can actually do the coding of your ESP32 so that we can accordingly uh, do this thing right so uh, let's do to, uh, go to the Arduino side and let's do it accordingly right all right guys so as you can see this is a code for my uh, ESP32 where I have written all the stuff already right this is the API on which I'm gonna hit the post request and uh, over here I have this front end or let's say I have the customized front end where uh, we have our company logo or let's say we have innovate yourself logo right and accordingly we have all the stuff uh, to take the input and to send it and accordingly further you can see here we're gonna read this data and we're gonna do this stuff and uh, let me show you okay this is your question is so here exactly we are reading what question or what input you have provided so we'll read that and accordingly we are gonna do a post request and for doing the post request you need to have a data in this format just like we have seen in the last video uh, or uh, like uh, how exactly we are passing the data for that right uh, in fact uh, in the last video I have also shown you using the postman right so there exactly we can see like how we have to do it so basically it's a JSON data where we are sending the sender and name you can put any anything message and this is the message so basically I'm uh, let's say putting a dynamic value for that and that dynamic value is that question we are getting right so that question I'm getting and uh, in that way I have updated my JSON data which I have to post right so now when I'll have that accordingly I'll put this payload over here and on the basis of that I will get the data back so here, over here it will give me like chatbot answer is whatever is the chatbot answer so i have simply extracted this data in such a way that it will only provide me either light on light off fan on fan off so this is what i have done over here and on the basis of that i have got it and whatever we have got in here for that we are going to put up the condition that if it's light on will turn on the light if it is light off will turn off the light or if it is fan on it will turn off the uh, turn on the fan and accordingly it will also do the turn off the fan right so this is how it's gonna do and for controlling this in one of our previous video you must have seen that how do we actually connect to the home appliances for that we actually have uh, have a relay component which can be used as a switch between your AC appliances right so that when I'll uh, send a trigger it will simply uh, switch it right whether to turn on or to turn off the appliances right so this is how we are gonna do it and for that I have simply defined two pins over here right uh, that you can see right here uh, where is it uh, it's uh, yeah here relay one is pin number two relay two is pin number four so in this way I have put that and also I have uh, set the pin mode as output right for both of it right in the similar way you can do for multiple other uh, like pins as well if in case you have multiple other appliances to control at the same time right so this is how you can do that and uh, yeah this is the complete code which we have in here and now the next thing is we can upload it to the uh, ESP32 right but before uploading I'll show you like uh, uh, how the connections will be for your uh, ESP32 and uh, the 4 channel relay because in my case I'm gonna use a 4 channel relay through which I'm gonna control this so I will be connecting to that and uh, I'll show you like uh, what's the circuit diagram for that so let's see that so guys uh, over here you can see on your screen that uh, we have a circuit diagram in which uh, we have uh, made the connections of your ESP32 with your 4 channel relay. So, right so currently we are using only 2 pins just to control the 2 appliances but if in case you want uh, to like control 4 appliances you can connect 4 and accordingly you can send the signals right. So this is uh, the circuit diagram for that right. 
all right so now we can start uploading the code and for uploading code uh, uploading the code you know like what you have to do first of all just connect your esp32 to your system and simply select the tools right over here this is the board uh, whichever board you are using like we are using do it esp32 dev kit so we'll use that and accordingly port you just select the port and uh, we'll see that right i'll connect it and i'll show you what port i'm getting so i have simply connected it now you can see i have the port in here right so now just simply upload the code right let's wait for it to upload and uh, we'll see it in action all right so the code is uploaded successfully now we can check further like uh, how it goes right so for that currently i'm gonna go to the serial monitor just to check whether it is connecting to the uh, router or not so now you can see it is connected to the router and uh, now we have this ip address on which i will be uh, interacting with my uh, esp32 and rasa chatbot so i can simply copy it for now so i'll simply open up a new tab i can open it here so you can see this is the front end uh, like where we can interact with the chatbot here you simply have to put your messages but uh, one problem is there like uh, our chatbot is not live and running so that's the reason currently it will not give any responses back but uh, yeah uh, let me make it uh, up and running so that uh, we can interact with it right so let me do it just stop this one yeah this is the command for that just run it all right so you can see the rasa server is up and running right so currently i'll interact with it over here only just to show you that whether i'm getting the right outputs or not so let me do it like let's say hello for now because i'm not going to control it right now i'm just want to check whether it's working or not or oh, something is there okay let me run it again so it's there now let's go in here you can see this is the way like how i get the output right so it's hey how are you and in fact i have extracted in such a way that i'm getting it properly right let's try with the light on for it now light on for now let's submit it now over here you can see this is the output and we have extracted it successfully right so in the similar way we can get it for like rest of the other operations also light on light off fan on fan off so in this way we can get it uh, now this thing is working perfectly now let's see this in action so that we can test it like whether it is working fine for the home appliances or not so let's do that let's check that all right guys so currently you can see like uh, connect i have connected my uh, system uh, directly to my node MCU like over here where I have connected my relay and ESP32 so currently I am connecting it to my system only just because uh, currently I don't have any display device where I can see the IP address so that's the reason I have just uh, connected over here only so that uh, we will not uh, face any difficulties in connecting so this is how we have done it now let's see uh, it in action alright so now first of all as you can see the fan is running fine right so now let me do one thing let me first of all see whether we are able to control this fan uh, with this chatbot or not right so for that i'll type it here like fan off and submit it so can you see guys the fan is turned off right so fan is turned off now similarly let's say if i want to turn it on again let's say fan on just submit it can you see it's turned on again right so in this way like uh, what you can see is like we can simply turn on the fan and turn off the fan now it's time to check further uh, with the light that whether the light is working or not right so for that Let's do one thing. Let me type it here. Light off. Let's submit it. So can you see? Light off. Similarly, I can do it like light on. Light is turned on, right? 
so you can see like whatever i want i can do it right either either i want to turn on the light or turn off the light or to turn on the fan or to turn off the fan right so in this way i can simply do this right so this is all about this i hope you have got some valuable information from our today's video so that's all from my side for today 